On Highway 26, on the outskirts of Beeford, nestled under the hill of the Niagara Escarpment, is an old-fashioned country market known as Grandma Lambs. It is a Meaford institution that has become part of our local heritage. Open year-round, people drive for miles not only to purchase fresh fruit and vegetables, but to be warmly welcomed by the gracious and friendly Grandma Lamb, the face, soul, and brains behind the organization. Grace Lamb, at age 83, still keeps the books, does the payroll, orders supplies, all without the help of a computer. She works in a tiny office within earshot of the main store and frequently appears just to say hello. The store itself is unique. As one lifts the latch on the oversized barn board door and enters the quintessential grandmother's kitchen, the tantalizing aroma of freshly baked pies arouses your taste buds. And glancing around, a feeling of comfort and warmth overtakes you. Old-fashioned kitchen cupboards display fresh baking. Open shelves are filled with homemade jams and jellies. An old telephone, reminiscent of the days when rural lines were in vogue, is mounted on the wall. And a collection of photos and plaques tells you that this is a family where love abounds and where its roots and heritage are valued. To tell the story of how Grandma Lamb's country market came to be, one must step back in time to another generation. We will go back to January 10, 1904. That day, in a humble log cabin built in the 1840s near Sunnyside Beach, on the 7th concession of St. Vincent Township, a baby girl was born. The daughter of Ben and Annie Doran, they named her Mabel. It is interesting to note that the family donated this cabin in 1968 to the Gray Owen Sound Museum and today is on display at Gray Roots. Mabel grew up on the Doran farm, which was largely dedicated to orchard bearing plums, pears, and apples. With her sister Rose, she was well acquainted with the art of growing apples and preserving fruit. At the age of 17, Mabel married Hartley Lamb. For a short time, they lived on the third line of St. Vincent Township before purchasing the acreage where Grandma Lamb's is located today. In 1926, Mabel's knowledge and love of apples prompted the Lamb's to plant an orchard, and as the trees began to bear fruit, Mabel started selling baskets of apples to passers-by on the highway. The business flourished, and soon the garage became the store. Mabel and Hartley had one son, Gordon. In 1947, he and the love of his life, Grace Almond, were married. The only daughter of Barbara and Charlie Almond, Grace lived on what was now Gray County Road 7. She attended the one-room rural school known as Whitelaw's School. She remembers the harshness of the winter, the unplowed road, the snowdrifts sometimes touching the telephone wires. Her best friend and cousin, Faye Almond, joined her on the long walk to school, and it was with glee that the girls would hitch a ride on the runners of a passing horse and cutter or jump onto a farmer's sleigh loaded with chop from the mill. Christmas concerts at school were always a highlight. It was the occasion when Grace's mother would sew a new dress for her. When she was ten, Grace recalls telling her mother that all the other girls had store-bought dresses, and subsequently her wish for a similar one came true. That purple paisley dress is still a treasured keepsake today. She fondly remembers helping her father make maple syrup. He paid her 50 cents a week to help him gather sap, to stoke the fire, and keep him company in the sugar shack. World War II was raging when Grace was in grade 8. Many farm boys answered the call to service, leaving scarcity of help on the home front. A decision was made by the Ontario government 
that rural students of good academic standing could leave before completion of the term to work on the farm. Thus it was that Grace left school six months early, ending her formal education. At age 15, Grace became restless for a new challenge. She got a job in Meaford at Ben Lee's grocery store and butcher shop. Until she was old enough to drive a car, she delivered meat and groceries on her bicycle. Later, Ben trusted her with his truck, and she often m delivered meat to Owen Sound and surrounding area. Time passed. Gracie and George Watts opened a shoe store just up the street from Ben Lee's. Reluctantly, Ben saw his young employee leave him and begin a new career of selling shoes. Before long, this business was sold to a bright young entrepreneur, Jack Pretty. And for many years, Grace not only was his number one salesperson, but a friend of the Pretty family that has lasted a lifetime. At age 19, Grace and Gord Lamb were married in Meaford's beautiful Christ Church Anglican Sanctuary. It was a double wedding shared with her cousin Faye and her husband Dave Perks. The couple had been inseparable during their courtship, and so they honeymooned together. To illustrate how times have changed, Grace remembers that starting out on their two-week honeymoon to Montreal, they each had $100. And after staying in hotels and eating good food, they still had $10 left when they returned home. Grace and her mother-in-law, Mabel, developed a great rapport. Grace was the daughter Mabel never had. Together they cut down plum trees, peddled apples door to door in their old Oldsmobile car, picked up grounders for Gord to take to the evaporator in Thornberry to be made into juice, and continued the sale of apples from their garage. In 1952, Grace and Gord became parents of baby Barbara. In 1955, twins David and Darlene joined the family. Grace was a busy mother with three babies under the age of three. But the children grew, and so did the fruit industry. Mabel added hot coffee to her sale of apples, and one day Grace decided to add a slice of her apple pie. This was a big hit. People loved her pie, and she was encouraged to do more of the same. In 1982, Grandma Mabel Lamb passed away. Grandson David, his wife Sue, and two little ones moved into her home. Concern for the safety of the children with farm machinery and customers with cars constantly driving by the house prompted the decision to build a 30 by 40 foot store a safe distance away from the house. To honor Grandma Mabel Lamb for her ingenuity and perseverance for starting the business, the fruit stand was formally named Grandma Lambs. With the new venue, there was the opportunity to expand the product line. Grace had been making cherry and apple pies, but along came some overly ripe peaches. In the spirit of a true farm wife, rather than have them spoil, she made them into pies. They sold like hotcakes. Soon Grace became a pie-baking celebrity. In 1984, a new business had begun. Grace's kitchen became the bakery. A child's little red wagon transported the pies to the store for sale. Grace's pies became so popular that soon she was baking cherry pies, rhubarb, and even meat pies. Tired of flour dust in the kitchen and tired of having to wait for his supper while the pies were in the oven, Gord decided to build Grace a kitchen at the fruit stand. During that first season, Approximately 1,000 pies were baked and sold. Sadly, Gord died very suddenly in 1991, leaving Grace to manage the business. In her grief, she plunged into work double-fold. It was decided that Grandma Lambs would be a year-round operation. 
When asked how she had the stamina to carry on, her reply was that Gord had gone, but he had left her his strength. Life has not been easy for Grace. Personal tragedies have left their scars, but always she was there for her family. She was the rock upon which they leaned. She not only lost her soulmate, Gord, but two little granddaughters and her beloved firstborn, Barb. A faithful member of Christ Church Anglican, her faith has sustained her through these troubled times. Gord and Grandma Mabel would be proud of how the business has grown. A new store has opened on Highway 6 near Chatsworth. The Meaford store has expanded and a new generation of lambs is helping Grace make decisions. Son David and grandson Blake are the farm managers. Daughter Darlene works in the retail department, while other family members are helping to fill the void caused by the sad passing of daughter Barb in 2009. Barb, until her final illness, had made all the apple and pumpkin pies in a business partnership with her mother-in-law, Doris Can. Grandma Lambs truly is a family business. Grace can look with pride at what she has accomplished. She has been the recipient of such outstanding awards as Citizen of the Year, Business of the Year, and a Special Tourism Award. She is one of Meaford's most ardent supporters. When asked what she likes about the area, she replied, I love the people, the blue waters of Georgian Bay, the hills of the escarpment, Meaford Hall, and the culture it provides. Grace Lamb, the matriarch of her family, the heart and soul of her business, an example to the community. It is with pleasure and sincerity that we salute her.